Hello everybody and welcome to another video of me looking at the Hershey Park website and analyzing stuff about it. So, uh, I may be a bit late to this, but a few weeks ago Hershey released a website, I mean a page on their website dedicated to Hershey Park in the Dark, a, an event that I have had questionable opinions on in the past with some teaser things. One is this trailer, as you can see it says it's it's about to get darker, which most likely, based on what we know, is most likely going to be like scare attractions, like scare mazes, like many other parks have. You have some spooky eyes, says so it's going to get thrilling, coming this September to Hershey. So that, that trailer was released a solid like two months ago. Then, But this chapter two over here, you can see, is just a bunch of cryptic images of like mining stuff. Yeah, where does this lead? It's a mining boot. What is this? It's just a mine. A mine shaft with some coordinates. Dark nights are coming. And then over here we have a canary in a cage with the time 917. So a, a thing I've been hearing online about 917, it's most likely referring to the date September 17th, which is most likely going to be the opening date of the um, Hershey Park in the dark for next year, which is much earlier than normal, but that's not a bad thing, especially if they have this new stuff. And so that one's pretty interesting, but the most interesting one is obviously wait a second, this mine shaft with the coordinates. So plugging that into like Google Maps over here, we can see the coordinates lead directly over here in the lower part of Pioneer Frontier next to Trailblazer Catering. This is most likely where this mining, whatever this is, most likely a scare maze, will go. And it seems like a logical place because it's like never used. Like if we go into, okay, it's used for occasional special events, but it definitely can be utilized better. If we go, like just some pavilions, we could easily just redo some of this and shove a haunted attraction in there. It definitely fits the theme as it is right next to Trailblazer which is a mine train coaster. But yeah I think this most likely there will be a mining themed scare maze in this area by Trailblazer Catering. So that would seem to be all as the rest of the chapters just say some Outlook unknown, more will be unearthed, we clog for too much information, watch closely, there's still more to see, and it says to check back soon. But I believe that since the trailer refers to experiences plural towards the end, I think there's going to be more than just this single mining thing. I believe that there will actually be three more attractions for a total of four. And I think that whatever this is, is hidden right in plain sight. In the first trailer, I noticed uh, what caught my attention about this specifically were these eyes. If we look at them, we can see one looks like a alien with like red eyes. And the next one is some sort of steampunk looking green thing. The next one after that is some um, lady, spooky, probably. And the final one is just a frantic looking pair of dirty-ish human looking eyes. So these are the ones that probably caught my attention the most. Because as you can see, the eyes are definitely human. And you can just see they look dirty, black, and just overall just not the greatest. Oh, Maybe after somebody was in, you know, a mine, for example. So I, so if you see where I'm going with this, I believe the other three pairs of eyes actually refer to other scare attractions that will be coming to Hershey Park this year and that will be revealed in later chapters. Like, if we look, all of them seem to make sense, like Alien, that seems like a pretty logical theme. Also, the thing I noticed that the Alien... There seems to be some sort of reflection that almost looks like a location or maybe some letters or something. If any of you guys can figure out what that means, just please tell me because I have no idea. 
we have like this steampunk thing that makes sense and whatever this one is I'm, I'm not actually too sure about this one yeah i believe that the, those four pairs of eyes will be four different scare attractions throughout the park i think they're still going to try to keep the event relatively family friendly as most halloween events in amusement parks are not and i think they just still will want to do that but i think they're trying to open up more to maybe teens and adults who also want to just go who don't have kids so for possible locations for this i'm not 100 percent sure and this is just me completely speculating but some places that came to mind were let's see we have the music box theater over here which hasn't been used for a long time you could easily just shove something in there since we already have the trailblazer catering if we go up here towards fahrenheit we have the fahrenheit catering which is just again some picnic benches and stuff you could easily put something in here and finally up to the old trick-or-treat area the wildcat catering which since the new since the more young child oriented trick-or-treat was moved to the water park you could easily put a haunted attraction in this area and that's four places that potentially could have this these new attractions so yeah this video is mainly just speculation i i'm not 100 percent confident with that obviously could it's just a guess on my part and so probably be disproven or proven in a few weeks but thank you for watching and maybe hershey park will announce more stuff and annoy me because it goes completely against what i said in this video bye